I know we didn't play well. Um, you know, the third quarter was definitely one of the worst quarters we've had this year offensively and defensively. Um, but when you look at the end of the day, it's a, it's a series that's tied one to one um, with two really good teams. And, um, you know, we're looking forward to game three. Well, for me, I'm going to go out and continue to try to be the player that I am. Um, you know, and, and use this elbow as not an excuse. Um, we never use it as an excuse, never use injury as an excuse. Um, and if, like I said before, if I'm on the court, um, we try to be productive as possible. I feel like tonight I was um, okay. Um, but as a team, we, all of us were just okay. And um, that's why we got a loss tonight um, on our court. I think doing a better screening, uh, we didn't screen the ball um, is great, um, like we did in game one, uh, allowing Mo to come off against Biggs and um, you know either Rondo or Tony Allen just stayed on his hip all night. Um, you know we have to you know find a way to get Mo free um, because he's really good off the dribble when he's catching shooting. He's also good coming off screen. So um, when we I mean offensively no one was in in a good rhythm. So it was hard to just go to just one person to try to get him off because no one was in a good rhythm tonight. Um, but you know we all play well as a team when Mo plays well, and um, I know he's looking forward to the next game. Well, I mean, that's um, we're going to use these four days as um, preparation and understand that we have to all be on the same page. Um, we're absolutely going to watch film and see what we broke down, especially in that third quarter, and um, try to make it a conscious effort that we don't do that again um, because we've seen the results. I mean, you know, we uh, you know, shot the ball okay, but, you know, it was, uh, you know they have you know, way too many easy buckets. You know, a team that has uh, six players in double figures is going to be hard to beat. Yeah, but you know we know you know we know what we have to do. And you know tonight, you know our defense wasn't there, you know the whole four minutes. But you know it's uh, one one, and we know what we have to do. You know we have to go up there and uh, either get one or two, and we'll be ready. Uh, first of all, I mean <laughs> it's one one, so I mean uh, knowing that you don't want um, this thing to get even worse than what it is now. So uh, as a team, you know it's just a sense of urgency all around. So. Uh, you're in a hole right now. You don't want to dig yourself a, dig, a deeper hole. So for us, uh, we know what's at stake. We know we can, and, you know, play better. That's the thing that knowing that you didn't play your best, um, you know, it, it, things you can control. So um, just defensively, you know, we gotta play with a sense of urgency. Let's not wait till we're down 10 or 11 points. And uh, offensively, we just gotta do a better job as far as um, getting to our things quicker, uh, making them work from one side of the floor to the other. Obviously, I uh, could show more. Um, they could stay longer on my shows. And Rondo did a good job of uh, staying attached to me, especially when I was off the ball. They never left me. And I, you know, I searched for a couple shots, you know, um, just trying to get it going. Mm -hmm. you know, I, I wasn't getting my easy looks, but they did a good job going to game three. And um, as, long as, I, as long as I'm on their mind and doing that, you know, I think I'm doing my job. Is, do you at the other end, this defense at the other end, do the same thing with Rondo, stay attached to him? Because, well, like you said, when he gets the ball, stuff's going to happen. Well, you know, we're going to the game plan and, and, and we make adjustments. We know he's not a good shooter, so, you know, he's, he's really a help guy. You, know, you want to be in that lane, you want to help other players, you know, really coming off strange. And